It looks like it's running fine on my end now. It looks like it's fine. Gave both computers a reset and now it seems to go okay. What are we, uh, how are we feeling on your end? It seems fine to me. I think we could keep this going. Looking good? Okay. So. I don't know if it was on Twitch's end or my end. I don't know what, but I gave, I just reset both computers. Well, my laptop and my PC. And if that's the case, well, we're good to go. Let's keep it going. All right. We are on chapter 19. So I gave this a couple of, uh, like a couple of attempts last time. You had a Windows update this afternoon? Oh, wow. Seems like everything's just messing up, isn't it? In fact, I think my computers... Didn't they just recently get an update too? I'm not sure. Maybe that was a couple days ago. Don't you just hate updates? They mess with everything. All right. So... Right now, I gave this a try. At first, I tried sending Tiki up here, and then both Katria and Sheeta to deal with all of this, but I didn't realize that this Fire Ballista specifically works on flying enemies. So I gotta deal with that. So second attempt, I was trying to just use Tiki up here, and just one at a time deal with things. But then I set her, like, here-ish, I think. She got attacked by one of one paladin. Almost died from that. Got very low health, and then got hit with, like, something like that. Like, another ballista or something. So, if I'm going to use Tiki to try to take out, like, some of the surrounding stuff, I think it might be best for Tiki to start, like, here and just work her way around and just be completely safe and do something like that. Like, start with this ballista, work your way here, work your way here. Actually, we probably... We could probably ignore this one. We could probably ignore that ballista. That one's too far away to really do anything. So maybe have Tiki go here, work on this one, turn two, go over here, then try to get up here and then deal with these from range. That might be the best we can do. Uh, also, I think I need to add... Yeah, okay, so I am also going to add a Physics Staff to Lind. Alright, let's give it a go. Don't you just love tech issues? Tech issues is always the best part of my day. They don't ruin whenever, whatever I was trying to do at all. Yeah, how's it going, Juice? What's going on? Okay, right now, Tiki can't really handle too many physical attacks. She can handle... She can handle the armor units, because they can only really attack once. It's... It's the Paladin she can't really deal with. Just chilling, it's raining hard. Oh, my. Uh... Well, it's just one of those days. Actually, we haven't had rain in a while now that I think about it. Which is rare for my area. Probably step up coffee in a bit. Going for like 15. Yeah, do what you need to do. Do what you need to do. But yeah, uh, I'm busy. Uh, yesterday I had to. I built that shelf. Uh, we took out the cabinet that was there. 
I swapped it out with that shelf and all my video games are... All my video games are on it. So that's what I was doing yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I've been slowly working on shelves. Luckily, that was the last... Luckily, that was the last one. Uh... There's one to my right, which you can't see. That's where all my manga is. It actually looks bigger now that you have room to display it. You have room to display it. Yeah, and these shelves take up less space. I had that shelf made, like, last week. Up at top, that's like my TV shows and movies. It's kind of hard to see due to the lighting, but... And then I'm like, well, if that's my media shelf, but I only have like one and a half rows to fill it with, let's just fill the rest with like my amiibos and stuff for now. Again, can't really see. But I had that built like last week. Uh, that shelf I, I built last night, and that's just all of my video game stuff. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can manipulate this. Up here, the top where my thumb is, that's my GameCube stuff. That's my DK Bongos. It's lighting, you can't really tell. Uh, Wii games, Wii U, uh, Switch right here. Uh, then kind of next to the Switch is like my NES, Super Nintendo 64. Yeah, I know. Lighting is so great, I can tell you. So, you can clearly tell what's over there. I don't know why I bother. Let's get everything moved. Besides, there's an ad playing right now. Which is like, play. Actually, let's move Brody up here. Here, and then we get Melissa over here. Just physic her. Yeah. Uh, ad? Looks like it has ended. Uh, it's going good, Hawkhorn Dog. Uh, not much going on. First attempt of chapter 19 for today. Uh, I was just saying that yesterday I was busy building that shelf right there, and that's where all my video game stuff is. I know, my face is blocking it, so you can clearly see it, but even if my face wasn't blocking it, the lighting is garbage. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Juice, you were asking about my SNES collection. I don't have many. I only have like five games and two of them are bootlegs, technically. <laughs> yeah, uh, just looking at it. I have Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2. I have Secret of... No, I have Illusion of Gaia. Those are my official Super Nintendo games. The other two are repro carts of Mega Man and Base and Dragon Quest 1 and 2. I don't have many SNES games. Like, uh, next to the Switch, like, I have a small amount of NES and SNESs, and then that's, like, N64 over there. I don't have too much to fill those out at the moment. Need to collect more stuff to fill up that shelf. And this row right here is my DS stuff. This one is my 3DS stuff. And both shelves up here are my, uh, just all my 
Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, then they're in both in, like, two pencil cases, just to hold them up. Uh, PS1 right here, PS2, PSP, PS3 down here, PS4 on the bottom, and then to the right, like, right there is my few Sega Genesis games. So, yeah. I know, you can clearly see when, whenever I decide to move out of the way, you can clearly see everything there, I swear. But yeah. That's just what I have over there. But it just means I need to collect more things to fill up that shelf. Because there's like a whole, there's like a bunch of gaps up there that can be filled in with more games. Clearly. Oh, let's visit this house. Now that I think about it. The Arcanian army has changed. The troops are all bloodthirsty savages now. What's going on with this country? Just some lore, basically. Okay, Rody, you keep moving. But yeah, what's going on your end, uh, Hawkorn Dog? And right now, I want Tiki to go here and deal with the Bishop with Swarm. And get out of here. Speed and HP. But again, she has like no attack speed anyway. Is it, uh, Juice, can you confirm to me, can dragons ever double? Or at least divine dragons? Because she's boosting speed, she has 10 speed, but she still has zero attack speed. So can she ever double anything? You've beaten the Sister Freed and Ardrich, pretty dang. Is that the one you've been stuck on for the last few days? The one with three phases? So, nice. Uh, okay, ballistas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, the outrange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, did I do that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I could set Fina right here. I am going to get Lind right here. I'm gonna go ahead and use Physic. Get this going. Level five. No stat boosts. Oh, nothing. I mean, it is, okay, let's be fair here. Most of her stuff is capped, and strength is one of the things that needs boosting. That's a 20%. That ain't happening. Alright, I'm gonna dance. Lind. She can start moving. But yeah, uh, most of my shells are now built now, so now it's just kind of figuring out where everything goes now. I figure out some things, it's just some of the smaller details and smaller knickknacks now need to be moved and I need to figure out where they go. You know, that's the thing about rearranging everything. You know, you got you've made new new you've made more room in some areas, but since you rearrange, you gotta figure out where new things are gonna go. Uh Aldrich was a magic problem. You did like 70 to 80 damage to him, and he has Three to four thousand HP, so you always run out of mana. Ooh. Eventually you gave up and did use up all your magic and finished it. With the Moonlight Greatsword. What is the Moonlight Greatsword? Is it magic based weapon? Good. Tiki dodged by just standing there menacingly. And Marth's getting attacked at the moment. Oh, 
Oh no, one damage. I'm so scared. Yeah, units are getting healed. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. I just need to deal with what I can before my main force gets up there. Mainly deal with the ballistas. Uh, I can. I think I can get right here. To deal with this. Tiki's just dealing with a lot of the annoying stuff right now. She's doing her job. Trust me. Dealing with a lot of the annoying ballistas. Uh, so now that we've dealt with probably the ballistas that I can at the moment. Oh, he could get here. The magic great sword, it's still a great sword, but instead of scanning off decks and strength, it scales off intelligence. Usually with the mage ability you have high intelligence, so the great sword is natural. Yeah, exactly. I can definitely see that. Um I'm thinking now I'll probably have Tiki go here and deal with deal with this mage. Although she'll probably have to deal with the other mages too, so that's gonna be a hard sell. Unless I only get one mate. Oh, uh, we'll see how well she's gonna be attacked by other mages. We'll see how this goes. That might have been a bad spot. And Paula's here. Uh, juice, uh, not juice, popcorn dog. Uh, before I started, there was some tech issues, and I had to reset the computer. You know, because it wouldn't be a Scottbox stream without a uh, without tech issues. When do I plan to expand my SNES collection? Uh, well, first of all, money is a factor, and uh, second of all, I don't know. I'm distracted by other things to collect for. It's just whatever I feel like collecting for at the moment. But I do want to build it up, that's for sure. Especially with official things. You know, more official games and less, you know, Dragon Quest 1 and 2 and uh, Mega Man Base, where they're just basically fan translation boot rig, bootlegs. This is so sad. Those who have opposed Emperor Harden have all been killed. Could the Emperor have been possessed by a demon? He kinda was. He kinda was, dude. If Garnef is considered a demon, anyway. Okay. So, let's see. Fine, you get over here. Maybe I'll, uh, actually take a better picture and show it on stream so you can actually see what's actually there. But for now, uh, let's just have at the moment. Okay, let's see. I can probably start moving Fina. Yeah. I can move you here. Then I can dance Fina. We have upgraded your arsenal, apparently. There's a staff. That's, in this, that's the second DPS staff in the game. Let's consider the best staff. Uh, why is it considered the best staff if it's the second, the second DPS staff? Like, you mean the second one you get is what you mean, right? How, uh, is it like the other, the other later ones just do too many, uh, gimmicks or something? Okay, yeah. This ain't gonna go well. And she gets attacked again. Okay. Second highest DPS. Okay. Now one mage is attacking. Looking through your old pics and found your old SNES collection, but also found a screenshot of you getting a rare item in Earthbound. Ah, very cool. Which item was that? Is it the magic frying pan? I was... That's where I left off on my, uh, when I, last time I was playing. Speed and HP, okay. Well, 
I think I see the flaw with this strategy right here. Tiki, you gotta dodge more. Thank you. The Sword of Kings. Ah, the only rare item I recommend people to get. Yeah, uh, Sword of Kings is that one rare weapon and or that one rare drop in Earthbound that I recommend people go and try to get. Because it's Pooh's only weapon. And it's a rare drop, and if you get past that area, guess what? You never fight those enemies again. They disappear. So you gotta get it then. And there it is. Copy that, and there's that. Alright. Yeah, she was just getting attacked by too many things. Time to reset. Okay. I think uh, having Tiki deal with the first couple enemies is a good idea. However, that top corner is more dangerous than I thought. Let me go ahead and just do that. So here's what I'm thinking. Tiki still gets rid of this one and this one, like normal. But instead of going here, because I didn't realize she would get attacked that much, well, I could have her go here. And she'll get attacked by one person. She won't get attacked by the mages. No, actually, she could get attacked by a mage. Never mind. Uh, the reason is considered the best staff is because the crystal sage staff uses more mana to do more damage. Crystal soul spear already requires like 48 mana and the staff to make the spell cost like 60 mana. So, from what I understand, it uses MP and converts that to actual damage. And the Crystal Sage Staff uses a lot more MP than other ones. Is that right? Which, when you do the math, the MP usage is more than, like, whatever base damage the other one is. Am I getting that right? Okay, it sounds like I'm getting that right. So yeah, I'm gonna still have Tiki take care of these first two. But I think what will be better... ...instead... ...is I think that we'll ignore this one for a second. Now I have Tiki fly around over here. Deal with this mage, because none of these uh, Arcanean paladins can reach Tiki, but the other two mages can. So I think it'll be best to deal with the mages, and then go back and deal with this ballista. Because then maybe she can tank the rest of the the rest of these ballistas because she can't kill one of these guys unless she crits i think that's the plan i think that's what we're gonna do let's see we go right here we're gonna transform into durgan I'll, do, I'll say this after adding some of the after adding these shelves in and replacing some of my bigger furniture I definitely have a lot more floor space now okay. Tiki, go ahead right here attack with the power of mist Yeah, my NES collection is also just as small. It's like five games. 
but at least my NES collection, all of them were official games. None of them are bootlegs. Like fan fan translation stuff. Uh, I have Ghosts and Goblins. I have Mega Man 2 and 3. I have Metal Gear. And I have uh, Punch Out. Mike, Ty Mike Tyson's Punch Out specifically. Because if I'm going to get a copy of Punch-Out on the NES, I am not getting featuring Mr. Dream. Why would I want that? If you're going to get Punch-Out, you're going to play Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Chow is available on Switch Online? Well, no, it's Mr. Dream. I'm not going to play that version. I'm going to play Mike Tyson's Punch Out. <laughs> Even though it literally is just a basically a palette swap of each other and just for the final fight, that's it. Oh, good. Tiki, Tiki's dodging. I wish she'd do that more. I, I'm pretty sure these enemies seem to only move once you get near them. Like, they're not going to move in groups. So this seems like this would be easy to kind of manipulate. And I still don't know what's in that village yet. I haven't gotten there yet. And Fina, Fina's trying to survive. Luckily, Swarm's easy to dodge. Yeah. Are you kidding? Not only is that a death, that is a rigged. That is rid. Come on. What is that shit? What was that, like, 30% chance to even hit in the first place? And that was, like, a 4% chance to crit? That is ridiculous. No, that is a re That was rigged. That is- that is- that is as rigged as- I think that is the most rigged thing I have seen so far. Used to use that staff, but it did awesome damage. Uh, but you used it on a max out character, so mana wasn't a problem since you had like 320 mana. So it was max out flash, so you crunch. <laughs> yeah, sounds very broken when you're going for a magic build. The game is the biggest hater. Exactly. So far, that is the biggest. That is the biggest rigged moment I have seen. Again, that was like 30% chance to even hit in the first place. Not only did it manage to hit, it got the 4% crit. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculously stupid. Let's try this again. In some ways, I'm almost impressed. I'm not proud of the game, but I'm impressed with something that bullshit. Anyway. Okay. Let's try this again. Tiki, take out the listas. By the way, by the end of when we're when we beat the game, right? Uh, we'll go through the achievements that I'm still missing, and we'll make a decision on uh, whether or not to 
actually complete it or just say move on to something else. We'll see what achievements I am missing and then we'll go from there. But we'll do that at the very end of, you know, after we beat the game and everything. I just figure I should mention that, you know, now before I forget. Before an app pops up or, you know, right at, right at the end. And some people might leave. But yeah, I know we're close, but beat it this week clo close? I'm not sure. That depends on how, uh, it really depends on how tough these maps are going to be. Okay, now the ballistas are attacking. Do you think the the swarm got a crit because Tiki dodged a lot more than she should have? Tiki dodging more affected uh, Swarm's crit rate and, and hit rate as well. I don't know. And again, I could take the time to just defeat that general right now, but I think it's better to just focus on the, the range units. Okay, so it's a 53% chance. I thought it was a smaller percent chance. Okay, never mind. It was still a 50-50. But we dodged this time. So it worked out. Okay. Let's go ahead and get rid of you. But yeah, it was pointed out to me yesterday is why does Tiki have like one giant arm and the other one's like super small? Like that arm is like deformed. I had a dog <laughs> that had a deformed arm, so it makes me think of that. It's just like. The one arm is like super huge, right? And the other one is just like, eh, it's just like this. But it's like, if it's supposed to be like a distance thing, like, it makes no sense. Like, if anything, the other arm should have been a lot larger. <laughs> Paula, you get up here. Uh, I guess I'll just check out another village. What do you say? Medea is really pitiful. She only, she only just retired as a knight to live together with her, with Astra, and now she has been separated again. St she's still a young girl. It's so sad. What can you do to help her? I don't know what I could do. Maybe bring Astra. It sounds like I need to bring Astra, but it might be not. I don't think it's this chapter. But luckily, I have Astra. Okay. Wind, go ahead and physics Tiki. Just keep her topped off. Don't worry, I have like two more full uses of physics. I'm fine. Level five, we got HP. I'll take it. I'll take it. just be ballistas. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
wow, Tiki dodged. That ain't that nice. Okay. Gonna need Physic. And you're attacking Marth. But luckily, Marth has good evasion. Weapon, defense, resistance, and HP. That's a good level. That's a good level. Getting defense and resistance, that's always a good... That's always a good level. Okay, hold on. Uh... Can I get Fina... I can get Fina right here. Just yet. Let's get more of my units moved. Get everyone out of the way. Mark, over here. So I can move Fina right here and dance someone here, which that could be Tiki. Uh, I can dance Tiki. The problem is uh, I can't get her up here just yet. So it's going to take another turn, and just getting rid of this Ballista is not a good idea right now. So, I think it would be best to just move her over here. I think we want to move her here. And then we'll heal with Lind. Just one turn over here, not attacking anything, would probably be best. I want Lin to get... I want uh, Tiki to work on the mages. She'll only... Luckily, if I stand here, I get, re I get rid of one mage on my own. First hit, you know, they don't get a chance to attack back. This paladin can't reach... They can't reach if, uh, if I stand here. And they don't have javelins. So I would only get attacked by these two mages. Plus ballistas. And I just gotta hope. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Mm, still risky. It is still risky. I could have Tiki lure out a mage instead. Just like stand here, lure out those two mages, only get attacked by one other ballista. That's another idea. I don't know what to do. For now, though, I think it'll, it'll be best to just keep moving. Right now, I think Julian can just hug the walls and he'll be okay. Catria, let's visit another house. 
thought that Nina and Hardin's marriage would finally bring peace to the world. Yet this happened. Oh, deities, what should we do? I would say it's lore building, but it really is. It's not that much lore building. Is anything happening? There we go. It's like it has to decide what the other units are going to do first, and since they're not doing anything, it's just taking a long pause. Julian's being attacked. Good on the dodge. I could have had him, had him go through the forest. That probably would have been better. Okay, she dodged. Okay. Let's get Julian to go away here. So. Yeah, Kiki is doing good on her dodging. By dodging, I mean just standing there menacingly. So, again, my original idea was to stand here, get rid of this mage. She'll get attacked by these two mages and get rid of them. However... She'll get hit by this ballista. She'll get hit by this ballista. Run out for a copy quick. Alright, yeah. Do what you need to do. So I get rid of this mage. She'll get attacked by two mages, two ballistas. What about this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Okay, not that ballista. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She'll get hit by three ballistas and two mages. I think this is this right here is not the option right now. Because these mages... Uh, 19 damage. Well, hmm, hold on. 12 resistance, 19 damage, 7. Okay, so if I had her at full health... Uh, which I am going to... Mortal Strike Force is doing a second great reset. What does that mean? It's a gut you know, you know, gotcha games? Great reset? I don't like the sound of that. I, d I don't know if that's a good thing. So yeah, okay. Seven damage. Well, you know what? I'm gonna pull out the calculator. Let's just assume she gets hit by all of these attacks, right? 41. Nice. 7. Nice. 7. We're at 27 right now. That's if she gets hit by these two. 13. Minus 12, so minus 1. That's 13. Okay, so 23. Minus 12, that would be 11, so minus 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, this one is another minus 11. We're at 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. She's out of range of that one. Is she in range of this one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. Oh my god. After doing the math. After doing the math. She kills this one first hit. So this one has no chance of attacking back. If she gets hit by these two mages. And the three ballistas. She'll survive at 4 HP. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I, I didn't even realize the swarm guy was here. Um, 13, 12. Okay, never mind. Uh, she's at 3 HP because of the swarm guy. Yeah, this one's out of range too. You know what? Tiki will survive. Unless there's a crit involved. 
I think she'll survive. But she had to be at full health for this to work. The first reset was way back in the Silver Surfer drop. And he has a stacked kit and stats. He's now gotten to the point where kits matter more than the stats. Kits, as in like their skills and abilities, matter more than the stats themselves. Makes sense. Uh, Strike Force is now going back to massive stat pools. Ares and the Annihilator team have been given massive stats and are hard to ignore. Kit wise, they're pretty good, but stat wise, they're really damn good. He also reworked Silver Surfer and his. He is a monster in most modes. Hmm. So, it sounds like they ran out of ideas for abilities. So how do we balance stuff now? Oh, let's just boost their stats. That sounds like a great idea. Let's visit this house. Emperor Hardin was once a kind man, but he suddenly changed into a frightening emperor. Uh, if I say things like this, I will get killed as well. Marth, off to the village. Uh, I'll go ahead and let Paula use her Dragon Whip. We got another Draco Knight. This was not part of the plan, but I had extra Draco uh, Dragon Whips. And a lot of thieves that I could have killed for EXP. Strength plus 3, defense plus 4, resistance plus 3? It looks like it. Or 2. something. Either way. Those stats are pretty good, though. Uh, she has stats capped in the ones that I care about. Alright. Um, uh, I'll just let Warren have this kill. who gets the kill anymore. Alright, Navarre. Head this way. I don't think I'm gonna mess around in the arena. But I'm gonna take a second to look in the shops. What do we got? Silver Sword, Armor Slayer. I have like two full Armor Slayers. I think I'm fine. Worm Slayer? I may buy one. Fire Spain Silver... I think we're good, honestly. Ultimus was also reworked, and people love him. Ironic, because when he dropped, people felt bad for him. So they boost his stats enough to where he's actually good. He's in the shop. Okay. We could buy Mend, Thunder, Blizzard, Elfire. Hmm. Do I need any of that? I could buy another one or two thunders. It's not a bad idea. I'm gonna try to stay out of range of ballistas, but I'm gonna have my other units start moving up. There was no steel lances, were there? It was just silver. Yeah. I'm gonna have to deal with what I have. So when Ultimus first drop, he wasn't bad, but he was dropped a week before Silver Surfer. So for a week, people liked him before Surfer Oh, I see. I see. He didn't have enough time to uh, really actually be good. Not enough time for people to actually use him a lot and actually like using him. I see. Okay. If we can move you. Fina, uh, we might as well just dance Julia and something here. By the way, still no silver card. I have a feeling silver card is just not in the game, not in book two. It was expensive and he took the same materials as silver silver, so people skipped him. Makes sense. When one of them is clearly better than the other and they take the same stuff, yeah, I would, I would do the same thing. Alright. What do we got? Okay, they're 
on the move now because I went past the upper area, I guess. This will help Tiki, actually. Because none of them are going to be in range of her. Again, by the end of this, if Tiki gets hit with every attack, Tiki will probably be at 3 HP. And she dodged. So that works even better. Speed and HP. They reworked his kitten stats, and now people have even gone forward to max him out. His basic has a 50% chance to land an ability block, as well as mind control foe. I, I can understand what ability block does, but what does mind control do in this case? Does it let you actually control the opponent, or is it more of like a uh, confusion status or something? Or charm? Man, Tiki's dodging a lot. Okay. Uh, way too many guys here. Well, if I'm gonna get attacked, I might as well just go here. Get attacked by, like, one or two of them right now. something. So Tiki could be healed. Sadly, I don't think I want Tiki to go after a Ballista just yet. I think Tiki is currently... would currently be in too much danger. Uh, it just makes it... so for attacks their ally... They attack their ally once, okay. So basics are alright, but considering even basics can give a ton of tech, have a ton of text, it can mess up the target. Hmm. Or a ton of attack, okay. Hmm. So it just let, makes them attack the, uh, some, one of their own units once. That's not bad. Okay. It will be best for Tiki to back out. However, it is not a good idea to get in range of the Ballista yet. Or, because I don't want her to get in range of these Paladins. Let's go ahead and heal. But we can have her go to, like, the, the left side. go to the left side and start dealing with, like, generals and stuff. Okay, so if I have her go and fight... No, she'd be in range of more generals, right? Actually, no. Hold on. She's not in range of any other general if I fight this one. She can deal with one general. He can't fight. He can't fight back. At 30. It, yeah. We can do this. Next turn, he's going to attack me and then die. Or run away. Either way. The special steals all buffs except taunt and safeguard from the target foe and adjacent enemies. He then shares those buffs with his annihilator allies. Yeah, that sounds useful. It really does. Okay. Paula, you need to go and buy something. I 
want a silver sword, but I'm gonna need to buy a silver sword. And a silver lance. Hold on. Okay, let's sell the steel lance. Let's sell the steel sword. Okay. We'll buy a silver. We'll buy a silver. I'd rather have, like, a steel, but I can't buy him. I'm gonna have Julian just buy, like, two Thunder Tones, and that'll be it. Actually, we'll have him buy one Men's Staff just to have. The two Thunders. That, just, that should be good. Alright. Marth, next turn you get to the village, and what does this shop ha- uh, what does this village say? Medea is the pride of Arcanea. She was the daughter of the highest officer of Arcanea, Duke Owen. This rebellion only came about because she could not stand and watch us suffer. No matter what, you must rescue her. Yeah, we kinda need to do that. This ultimate is what people really like about him. Does about 350 damage along with doing a bonus 290 for each buff the target has. Okay, so punishing the opponent's buffs. Okay. Also flips their buffs. Okay. Yeah. So those kits buff. So we'll basically delete one person and I don't have time. Yeah, that that sounds busted. It really does. You're like, oh, you're trying to use buffs. Well, I'm gonna turn that against you. Not only will I deal more damage per buff, they're now debuffs. Deal with it. Okay, you're running away, but I could still hit him. Oh, that one's trying to head back and target Tiki. attack like if you have two offense up he'll hit you two extra oh wow that's ridiculous good dodge you know what tiki distracting some of these paladins is probably a good thing This is a good thing. It bring it's less units to deal with for my main force right this second. So this this is a good thing. You went from a joke to a menace. You're currently working on him. I mean, that sounds really useful. I would work on him. It sounds like he's like the current like meta counter to like everything. Now you gotta find a counter to him specifically. Okay. This is useful. We have distracted some of the paladins. Marth, go to the village. Prince Marth! I'm Roshea of the Aurelian Knights. Oh, okay. I have King Aurelius permission to come here, and I'm awaiting your highness's orders. I am truly sorry for the battle at the pass. To apologize to you, I will join and fight alongside your army. Marth, please watch over me. Ah, uh, that's how we recruit him. And obviously he would not be recruitable if we ended up uh, killing him. Okay. How do I want to handle this? Everyone's basically fully healed. Let's start with attacking from range. And weakening. 
counter him. He can't cleanse himself, so he can keep him in control. Strength and HP. However, with his team, there'll probably be a two major cleanse. Cleanse is just getting rid of debuffs, correct? He doesn't have the ability to get rid of debuffs. But that's why you pair him up with one that does. Yeah, that's why you pair him up with someone that does. That's the, that seems like an easy fix. Okay. Uh, Lind can't get close. Tiki has not been hit. I can have her weaken a paladin from range. That might be a better idea for her to do. Yeah, I don't want to put her in danger. So it'll be best to go here. Just weaken a paladin. Who knows, maybe I'll get a crit. Oh, he's weakened. He may run away. Maybe I could get Lind close enough to do something. Yeah, let's dance. get rid of this guy. But I may use Physic to heal. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Agma. Let's have you go after a Paladin. 27. We're just gonna have to do something. Yeah! We got a crit. Defense and HP. It's pretty cheap when it comes to taking up his red stars. The special characters are expensive to take to seven red stars since they use a different currency compared to normal units to raise the red stars. Since he's a really early special unit, very cheap. I see. So you, a new player can easily get this character and start working on him is basically what you're saying. Probably be best just to use the strongest stuff right now. Okay, get out of here. Level six, and we got a little bit of HP for Katria. Hmm. Rody and Cecile have not been hit. We got three guys to go. May heal Sheeta. Let's see. Let's go ahead and use magic. Probably thunder. Yeah. This is of six. Fifteen. Oh no, you can't double. I would need Lind to. Oh, she can't. She can't do it. She can't get close. Alright, Lin's healing. Wait, 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 I might, I might wait a second. Navarre, how well can you get rid of this guy? Let's go with the Killing Edge. Something with a higher crit chance. Let's just go for it. There we go. Oh, you need like one more point in strength. Navar literally needed a strength of 19 to get a one-hit KO with that weapon. Oh, that sucks. Alright. I can have Melissa weaken one guy. You know what? I think I could just make this work. Yeah. Oh. 
so oh we got a crit that works too go ahead. Fight one. And we got the crit. There we go. Okay. Let's start healing some units up. Discard the iron. Okay. I don't want to rush in. Thirty seconds for an ad to finish. I'll let that happen. I'll let that finish. Okay, ten seconds. These paladins will probably start heading back. turn. Tiki's safe from the paladins. She'll only get attacked by the listers. We're only talking four pal- oh, only three paladins at the moment. One of them is currently trying to heal. Close! She just almost won that, but I took the win. It's almost like it was rigged against you. So not really. Ooh, a single point in damage. Have her get rid of a paladin. Although that might be that might make her too close. We'll see. So three paladins in the north. That's ready to go to fight the main units. I could get rid of a paladin right now. However, I'll get attacked by I could get attacked by two paladins. No matter where I stand. That is not a good sign. I don't like that. I can get rid of a ballista though. Yeah, we'll do that. Even though this one hasn't really been that much of an issue. Just kind of work on it. Um, Tiki slowly making her way and uh, slowly getting rid of this stuff. Okay. I want my units back up. Just start healing. Prepare for the next set of paladins. Uh, 
Magma's fine. Katria's fine. Sheeta's fine. Kano's fine. Navar needs healing. That'll be it. I think everyone else is basically at full health. Okay. You're at full health. Actually, I want to compare your stats. Roche is definitely weaker than Cecile. And Cecile is like seven levels below him. Cecile is stronger. This is why you don't use pre promotes. Unless you absolutely have to. A trained unit is always better. Alright. Got my units ready to go. Alright. Is that it? Just these few. Yep. start moving. Ah, he's going towards Tiki. What a fool. That paladin is such a fool. Because that can attack him in range. And then he'll run away to a castle to heal up. Is Navar going to get hit? Nope, he dodges like a champ. He's going to continue to get attacked. Oh no, one damage. I am so scared. Who do you heal? Okay. Okay. Three paladins. Can we start fighting them? We actually could. Yeah, you know what? Let's just attack first. Let's just try to get rid of them. I mean, that was a 50% chance to crit. Okay. Uh, next. Ryan, go right ahead with your silver bow and double. Crit. That works too. 20% chance. Warren? Oh, Warren could use some healing. Okay, I need more attack speed. So the killer land. Oh no, no matter what I do, Warren can't double. So, yeah, let's have the higher chance to crit. That. Maybe better. Okay, no, it didn't work out. Alright. Navar! Go ahead and try to kill him. Get that crit. Get that 40%. Yeah. Uh, he got the two crits. There's no kill like overkill. Luck, defense, and HP. And we got the Draco Shield. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Oh wait, Tiki could also use some healing too. Uh, Let's just start healing. Okay, Navarro's at full. Let's start moving forward. Uh, Tiki. It's in Tiki's best interest to weaken. Weaken the Paladin. 
and or just get the crit. That works too. Skill, luck, and HP. Okay. Lind, go ahead and physic. I'm so glad this stuff has infinite range. It's a little ridiculous, I know, but it helps me a lot. Level six. We got a strength boost. Yay. Lind can now deal more damage and heal better. Attack of strength of 14. Okay. Oh, wait. I want to make sure my flyers are out of range of that one specifically. I might just keep, keep them back here for now. Rody can go forward. We'll probably have them start rushing in. Martha's gonna need to catch back up to the main group. But yeah, they're talking about uh, Medea a lot. They're like, we need to help her, and it probably just sounds like we need to bring Astrum with us. Shea's here. Is that it? That's it. Alright. Other than the three generals, it's just ballistas and some mages. I just like how Tiki's just being a menace to these guys, like, the entire time. Just like, ugh, having trouble dealing with this dragon. Alright. If I get close, she's gonna get attacked by multiple generals. That's not a good thing. However, I could go right here and attack one. Yeah, we could do this. We can hit. Oh, I just realized Tiki's strength is capped, so I, I guess 30 is the most amount of damage she can do. Rush in and take out a ballista. Good. Next, this one is perfectly fine. That's the flying one. That one, too. Start bringing my units closer. We almost got this. Rody has breached through the main uh, main gates. Is now in the main courtyard. I guess courtyard is the word I'm using. Flyers can actually just stay behind. Tiki's done her job and weakened this guy. I should have healed her, but she should be fine. Fina can head up here. Alright. 
I don't want to accidentally put a flyer in range of the wrong ballista, so then letting them stay back. Even though I think they can survive a single one. Oh, now you get the crit. Thanks, Tiki. Attack Rody, it's going to work. Oh wow, one damage. That's a that's a lot of damage. You're attacking a swarm. And attack with your bugs. It's a single point of damage. You run away, you run away. Okay. Tiki's gonna stand on this fort. We'll go ahead and get rid of a ballista. And she gets the crit. Because that was needed, clearly. She's not. She is in range of one, so I should heal Tiki just in case. Um. I think it will be too dangerous to put Rhodey in range of generals, as well as everything else. I'm gonna go ahead and let Rosea attack the one with Swarm. Or Cecile, not Rosea. He might be. Rody go. I could put him in range of one gen. Oh no, it might be two. Yeah, I'm gonna have him go all the way over here. Just try to deal with some of these guys over here. Uh, so my agreements should just start getting in here. Do I can't just slay a dragon to get back to your old? Xbox 360 account. Uh, why are you booting up your 360 account? Just feel like playing something? And why did it take so long? Just, uh, couldn't remember the password or something? Halo? Oh. I really wish to have to still be online just to access your games or a rock band DLC. Ah, okay. Halo 2 and some Rock Band 3. I see, I see. Again, okay, Xbox consoles is like the only like things I don't have. And I have very little interest to get Xbox stuff, but. Yeah. If any if I'm gonna get like another console of any form, I feel like it would probably be a Sega Dreamcast. They require LAN. Um the 360 can go online. So silly. Uh, Rock band DLC songs used to be there without air and internet, so you could bring your Xbox to a house party and have all your songs. So, why... Did you have to re-download them or something? Like, did you have to make room and then just have to re-download them? You have to be online just to get online stuff. Oh, so they updated the 360 because of the Xbox One? To, like, always be online or something? That's lame. You just need to be online to use them. But they changed that. Uh, it, but it sounds like they changed that when the Xbox One came out, right? They did the change years ago, but it's just so silly. Yeah, I know. That is so dumb.
Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'll say this about Xbox, though. Like, the recent ones even have backwards compatibility. Maybe not with every game, but, you know, Sonic Unleashed actually runs properly now if you play it on a, uh, you know, a current Xbox. Been in the forefront of making games digital, digital over physical. Yeah, exactly. They've been really pushing that. I'm not a fan of it. Sony pulled the trigger on that first when Xbox went to always online style. You think Sony did it first and then Xbox followed? I mean, you still remember Sony saying they would never require online for single player stuff. So you got Spider Man PS4 back in 2000. You can't play unless you log in, right? That's annoying, especially since it's not a. Uh, you know, a game that's online. Okay, um, what would be best? Actually, you could survive a single hit from the generals. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Lista. Which one? Uh, that one. War during E3 back in 2013 that Xbox would always be online and Sony wouldn't. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. Sony just did it anyways. Yep. Yep. The problems of being playing games on modern consoles. You never own your games and you're gonna like it. Why do you think you've been playing a lot of retro stuff? I'm sure it's back. 26. Uh, I don't think I wanted to get too close. Yeah, I don't really want her to get too close. She doesn't have the HP. Steam, if you're offline, you can still play. Yeah, except and library sharing. Yeah, I know. That's a... Yeah, Steam should definitely not change anything like that. Should... Yeah. Look out of this account. You can see back in 2014. You get to play any of his games as long as he isn't playing them. I know. I have a friend that... I have that set up with, too. Well, maybe not right now, but I can set that up with him if I really wanted to. But I haven't really been playing many games of Steam lately. Although, I have been playing games on emulators lately, so... Yeah. That's how you play through, through MGS Rising, or Metal Gear Rising. I actually have a PS3 copy of Metal Gear Rising, so that's how I played it. But it's probably better to play on Steam, because you don't have to deal with the PS3. Okay. I want Tiki to go ahead and get rid of the Swarm. People say there's going to be another gaming crash. And the games will be fine, but there's a possibility those big names will suffer drawbacks. Probably. Although, I will say this. Nintendo hasn't been doing that bad. Like, Nintendo seems to get out of a lot of these controversies most of the time. Most of the time. They still have... The, they have some of their own. But they haven't really been doing, like, the digital-only stuff lately. They haven't really been doing... Uh a lot of microtransactions and stuff. Do they have their own problems? Sure, because they keep targeting... Uh, Nintendo keeps trying to get rid of, like, uh, emulator sites and ROM hacks and stuff like that. They have their own problems, sure. I'll just let the bar of this one. But some of those traps that Sony and Xbox are currently doing, 
Nintendo is not really having that problem. They have their own problems. Alright. Brody, just go ahead and attack. And I guess the seal will grab the kill. Been in the gaming for decades, they know how to keep their fan base happy, but exploit them at the same time. You say that, but then we had the Wii. <laughs> Let's be honest, uh, they didn't really know how to handle the Wii U era. Like, that just did not go well. They fumbled it with the Wii. Well, not with the Wii, but they got... Because of the Wii's success, they thought they could just do it. They could do nothing wrong. And they were so full of themselves, and then the Wii U happened. I wasn't prepared for this. Oh good, Warren dodged. I was not prepared for this. Oh god, you have a writer's bang. But I dodged anyway. Okay, you're going after Marth. It's a good thing I just kind of naturally plugged these fortresses. Okay, uh, we're gonna need to plug more fortresses. Probably learn something from today. Oh yeah, they definitely learned from the Wii U, that's for sure. The question is, will they continue to remember it? Because the Switch is an even bigger success than what, uh than what the Wii was. So you just gotta hope that they continue to remember the lessons, you know? Hey Mark, get that crit. can't say the same for Microsoft or Sony. Yeah, they continue to do the whole uh, always online digital games, you all you need to be online or whatever. Yeah. So wish the Wii U game had, had DS cartridge slot. That could have worked, but they did have DS download games you could buy. Or DS emulator you could play on the Wii U. So that was a thing. Or 3DS cartridge slot. Yeah, that, that could have been that could have been interesting. Uh, I, I actually I don't think they would have gone with a 3DS cartridge slot, but a DS one. You know, just basically let it also be a DS. Yeah, we games for a moment. Should have jumped on the Metroid Prime trilogy back in the day. Yeah, I probably should have gotten a digital copy of it too, but I was in the mindset of like, I like physical copies. I don't want a digital copy of Metroid Prime trilogy. I want the physical copy. The physical physical copy is like 60 bucks right now. When I could have just bought, bought it for 20 and just have a way to play the trilogy. In HP. All right. I'm gonna let Warren start moving down here, I guess. Now, plug these fortresses. Luckily, this one doesn't seem to be a problem. And Tiki's still a dragon. She has not had to transform again. I know luck's a factor to keep it going. I know that. Oh, there we go. She finally uh, turned back to normal. 
That's a, that was a good use of her dragon form. I know luck's a factor for that. I'll just let Lori have this one. 25? Defensive 6, 17. Yeah, that'll work out fine. Do I have enough attack speed? No, I don't. Fine. I'll let Rhodey have it. Just gonna have to make sure all the fortresses are built. There we go. start moving. What are we looking at if I use the rapier? 29. 9 damage. Uh, can we get the silver? What are you doing, Molly? You're being weird. Dog's being weird. <laughs> Unless I dance. I think I'll go ahead and let <coughs> Melissa attack. What? Our Arcanea has been defeated. Our Arcanea has been defeated. But as long as I'm here, I won't let you enter the castle. We'll see about that, dude. Okay, I was not planning for the crit. You know, Melissa, I wanted you to just weaken him. I didn't want you to actually get the kill. I wanted to give the kill to Marth. Oh well, skill and luck. She got a crit. Glory to the Emperor. Make sure this place is plugged. Um, nope, Marth can't make it. Not until next turn. All right. Only took three tries today, so this wasn't that bad. Oh, Lord Marth, I have been waiting for you. Boa, you've suffered a grave wound. What happened? It was truly frightening. I suppose the Arcanaean royal family is indeed under a curse. You should know about Hardin and Nina's marriage two years ago. How is it to- oh. I think they got married like immediately after the events of book one. Wait, then it- then the war was one year later. Oh, I think it just- yeah, the, this- it, it took at least one year to get to here, okay. To restore Arcanea, a king was required, and only two people were, were suitable. King Aurelius' younger brother, Harding, and Altius Prince Mark, you. Those were the choices, and we pleaded for Nina to make the final decision. Originally, she wanted to wait a while longer, but we begged her to make up her mind immediately. In the end, she said that choosing Prince Marth as her husband would hurt Princess Sheeta. So she finally decided on Arden. I see. Yes, SA1 and 2 on 360? Oh yeah, those are great. Those are fun games. The soundtracks for both of them are great. Yeah. Wait a second. Wasn't that a little harsh on Nina? I understand that Arcanea needed a king, but Nina, she already... You were referring to Gruss's Lord Camus, but that would be unspeakable. Unthinkable, in fact. Princess Nina was the sole successor of the royal bloodline of Arcanea. Felt bad as well, but for this country, we had no other choice. However, Lord Hardin was very happy. Compared to ascending Arcanea's throne, he seemed happier about the fact that Nina chose him for her husband. I also understand Hardin's feelings. He could sacrifice his own life for Nina. 
But did he know about Camus? If he did, I don't believe he would be so happy. Hmm. Of course we kept that a secret. And we also persuaded Nina to hide it as best as she could. But Lord Hardin was, very sen was a very sensitive man. He quickly found out that Nina's heart had no place for him. He felt very painful. He locked himself in his room and didn't allow anybody to see him. Taking advantage of his broken heart, Garnuff appeared, somehow, he's still alive. He took on the guise of a merchant to approach Hardin and showed him the dark sphere. The distraught Hardin was quickly consumed by the sphere. From that day on, he completely changed. It was because I, I was only f it was because I was only focused on restoring this country that I committed such a horrible, mis horrendous mistake. Please forgive me, Prince Mark. I, I can't believe all that happened. Where is Nina now? When Hardin discovered that she had taken the emblem shield, he had her confined in her room. After that, she would still communicate in secret with me. However, Hardin found out, and then, and then he wounded me. He also handed Nina over to Garnath. Garnath? Hmm. Garnath had always wanted to take Nina. He said that the resurrection of the Shadow Dragon requires the blood of noble, noble clerics. And so, he took Nina to use her as a life sacrifice. Lord Mark, I'm already done for. I'll give you my Thoron and Physic to you. I, bl I beg of you, please rescue Nina. Even if Arcanea is destroyed, it no longer matters. I only wish for Nina to be safe. We got Thoron, and we got Physic. I re okay, so I think I remember that about Harden, where it had to do with it had to do with Nina. I thought Nina died, and with grief he got corrupted. No, Nina just loved Camus, and just never loved uh, and never loved Harden. And Ar Harden was just like, why bother? Uh, actually, let me go ahead, take a second, I'm gonna fill my water, and then we'll start chapter 20, be right back.
Okay, I am back. Just had uh, Molly wanted outside. Alright, uh, give me a sec. Alright. Let's get chapter 20 done. Saint Arcane is the largest country on the continent. Its golden capital, Palace, has bathed in 600 years of proud history. Under the attack of Ar Altea's allied army, it fell in just one day. That only took a single day, wow. The citizens of Arcanea welcomed them as liberators and supported them to their fullest. They also mentioned of their hatred towards Hardin and his personal guards. Everybody now calls Hardin the Dark Emperor. This was in hatred of Hardin, the murderer of the count of countless people. If possible, the possible fighting would be avoided, but if possible, fighting would be avoided, but it has already reached this stage. Marth raises Henri's flag up, flag up high, and orders his last command. Go, heroes of Altea! This is the final battle. Everybody, charge into Palis's castle! It's this map. I recognize this one. What the? Your Highness, we've entered the castle. But don't forget that Hardin is being protected by the Dark Sphere. To fight him, he must have the Light Sphere. Be sure to have the person fighting him carry it. Mmm, okay. He is an armor unit. You almost want to give it to, like, uh, either someone with an armor slayer. We could give... Marth and Armor Slayer. Or we want to give it to like Ogma or like Lind. Worry about it later. But it's the life the life sphere, which Marth currently has. Okay, hold on. Uh, let me go ahead and deposit this. Marth currently has the life sphere, that's what we are really worried about. At this point, I think I'd rather bench Sheeta, or I'd rather bench, uh, Seal. I want Lind in the team. Ugh, man, the strength difference is ridiculous. Okay. I'd rather have something like this. Oh, Paola is actually just as strong as Katria. Huh, okay. I think this team will work fine. I think I need Julian to open doors and chests, so we're keeping him with me. Other than that. Alright, let's go. Arcanea's paladins have lost their touch. You fool! Oh, I needed Astrum, don't I? You fool! Don't you see it? What you're, what you're doing isn't normal. Where did you take Nina to? Bring her back to us now! Nina, that woman betrayed me. I just wanted to destroy Gross. And she had to go and give the emblem to that boy. Those who betray me must die. Medea, you're no exception. If you want to take my life, go ahead. But Hardin, do you know how much suffering you've caused because of your stupid jealousy? Just open your eyes and see. Stupid jealousy? Huh, you can say what you like. This world is corrupt and full of annoying people. Is this kind of world even worth anything? It would be far better for it to be destroyed. Medea, you shall watch here. 
as Prince Marth dies by hand. Okay, let's take a look around. So we got a single thief at the moment. Meteors, fortify, silver sword, hold on. Hmm. We couldn't really plan out where everything was going because we couldn't see inside. Oh, there's a lot here. Sword Slayer, okay. Meteor Swarm, Silver Bow. Sword Slayer, we got an Earth Dragon. We have a single Earth Dragon. I mean, I'm pretty sure Tiki can handle that perfectly fine. What is this? A Dark Bishop. Dolam? What is Dolam? I have never heard of this one. He doesn't look like a Dark Bishop to me, but okay, whatever. He looks like some weird slime monster. Okay, there's Hardin. He took Camus Gradigus. Uh, the Dark Sphere. Mage. So, is Medea in danger? Will she get attacked? If so, I almost want to warp someone right here and just get her safe. But who would I warp? Probably someone like Agma with the Armor Slayer. Just get her safe and then have Agma defend. Hmm. What would be the best route? This is the only thief, right? I think that's the only thief to worry about. But no one else can get, can get that close, can they? Oh, if I am correct, there is a secret shop here somewhere. It might be in this room. But there is a secret shop. Can we even get up there? No, you can't. Not without a warp sap. What do I want to do? Again, the problem is I have no idea if she's going to get attacked or if they're just holding her hostage. So I don't know if she's going to get attacked by these three. She could be, though. She defense. 14. Oh, only like two damage from these two. 21. Ooh. Honestly, the mage would deal the most damage. I mean, if I had Yumina with me, I could just rescue her. And that would work, too. I don't know what the best route to do is. Let's see. Because I may also just uh, warp Tiki. Dance and warp her. I could get it right here. Oh, the music echoes went indoors? That's interesting. Yeah, I could get Tiki like right here and start attacking. There's a lot of places I could just warp Tiki. Where to start? Chowlin, Kalan, Meteors, Swarm, Silver Bug. Oh, man. What to do? I don't want. How many warps do I have? I only have three more. So I really only want to use one. How about for now we just don't warp? Because I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on at the moment. I, I have no idea if Medea's actually going to get attacked. If she does, I'll do something about it. But 
for now. Let's just get everyone moving. As a servant of the Empire, you dare to evade per Palis? I am disappointed in you. So Ultius, Prince of Light, is just a little life. Pardon, you are being controlled by the Dark Sphere, and have lost, and have lost uh, your your just heart. Please, you must return to normal. <laughs> you are so naive, Marth. I attacked Altea so solely because of my hatred of you. In the previous war, it was only because you were the descendant of Henri that Nina gave the emblem to you. It chose you to become the leader of the Alliance. Prince of Light. What nonsense. If you hadn't received my support, you would have died long ago. So don't act all big, Marth. Uh, excuse me, dude. I never used you once. In book one. What high horse were you on? From that day on, I hated you. I kept silent for Nina. But I knew I would have to deal with you eventually. E this had nothing to do with this fear. Pardon. Is that true? Your hatred of me. I didn't know. Huh. That's why you're just a boy, Marth. Come to me so I can use my grat uh, Gratithus to pierce your heart. In this tiny continent, I am the only hero that is needed. Oh, uh, okay. Swarm, fortify, one treasure chest. No other thieves, okay. Well, uh, we'll leave it there. Okay, Medea is getting attacked. I wasn't sure. Yeah, what's the, what's the accuracy? Ah, it's a one in three chance to, no, one in four chance to dodge. there isn't going to be as simple. So they have to deal with this guy. Fortify, swarm. Yeah, this is, this is not that good. But I need to send someone down there. And that someone will be Agma. Time to warp. Agma, the hero we need. And the hero we deserve. Fell oh, this skill. Whatever. Alright, Ogma, go right ahead and start slaying these armor units. Nine strength and HP went up. Perfect. He is capped on strength. All right. Um, I could get Medea right here. She could get attacked by Swarm. But she's safe from. Okay, no, she could get hit by the javelin. Ogma's gonna be in trouble. We'll, we'll see how this goes. I wanna have Tiki get rid of this thief before he does anything. Good. 
Again, sometimes the strategy is to let the thief, like, open doors and then kill him so you don't use up a door key if you don't have a thief on you. Let's hope it goes well for Agma. That's like the best I could do right now. Honestly, the sniper is probably going to be the most dangerous one over there. Let's get a bar moving. Julian, just follow along, stay behind. There we go. Bodyguards arrived. Where? Oh. I don't like that. Be dodged. Huh. These guys are not moving. That's an interesting choice. Where's your attack? 25? That is an interesting choice to have to not let those armor units move. No, they easily could have. Probably let you move here. Okay. I don't know if I will be keeping all of this, but for right now, we're just gonna... Attack of 26, only 10. What if I use the silver? Attack of 33. I only deal single hits. Might as well do what I can. Yeah. I'll go ahead and let Warren also weaken. Uh, silver bow. So close. Alright, uh, I'll let... I think I'll let... No, actually, no, I should let Mark have it. He's not capped yet. Actually, I should have given him the Star Sphere, now that I think about it. Level 17. Speed, luck, and HP. Well, we'll take it. No attack, but we'll take it. Alright. Thoron. Volganon. Javelins. Meteors. Fortify. Okay. Uh, is it better to get rid of Mage? No. Get rid of Mage. This would be better. At least I can kill this guy in a single hit. Okay. Bar should get healed.
Oh well, yeah, one thing I thought about with modern games, going back to that topic very quick, uh, of course the app plays now. Damn, I didn't, I'll wait, I'll wait a second. It's fine. Dang ads. Can't control them, not really. Bodyguards. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. That works out. Let's see if we can get a crit. Speed and HP. Come on, Tiki. You dodged. Perfect. Anyway, the ad is done. Uh, but yeah, one thing I, I thought about is it's kind of annoying that with like I would pick up a PS4 game, and I would get, like, a physical copy, right? But the thing is, like, most of the game is not even on the disc anymore. You have to download the rest. So it's like, if such a small amount of the game is on the cartridge and you have to download the rest, then what's the point? It's just, it's basically a digital game, but the disc itself is basically a key to play it. Okay, Medea died. Uh, Navarre's fine. He's not gonna die here. Rigged? I don't know how rigged that was. She was already taking a lot of damage. is doing good on his dodging. Gears of War 3. Street Fighter 4 got so much heat for putting all the DLC on this. Now that, yeah, I don't like that. That basically just tells you that the DLC is already made, but then you have to pay extra to unlock it. Then you basically buy nothing just to unlock it. Exactly! That... That's scummy. I remember that. Yeah. That's ba that basically tells you that the characters are already made and programmed. They're on the disc. Just five more dollars to actually play as the character. Let's reset. Of course, we, because the life orb... All but the Dark Sphere is in the shield. Well, all their cool skins, it's like... What about I unlock them? Yeah. Remember when games actually let you unlock stuff? Especially with, like, fighting games, right? They kind of stopped letting you do single-player stuff to unlock things and just focus on... Uh, anything that would be unlockable is now, like, DLC. So I'm thinking I'm gonna bench... Actually, I'm probably gonna bench Rody. I'm gonna bench Rody. And then I want to bring in... Where is she? Yumina. We're just gonna rescue. It's not always skins you grind for until they sell it later on, exactly. 
And then sometimes they can go overboard on the skins and you're paying way too much. Because if I remember correctly, isn't uh, Dead or Alive, like, five, I believe, have, like, so much DLC that you'll spend, you could spend, like, a thousand bucks on different costumes and stuff? Like, they have, like, that, like, that game has so much DLC. The new Mortal Kombat currently has that skin problem, where you just have to pay for more, uh, for more skins, if you want them. After a while, you just kind of wish you had the ability on, to, like, play some sort of mode and unlock them yourself. Where's Yumina? Right here. There. You've done your job. Yumina's done. We saved, uh, Medea. Yeah. We did it. You're safe. All right, now that the big, uh, the big annoyance uh, is out of the way, now we don't have to worry. We don't even need to use warp if we don't want to. Because I only use warp just to try to save her. Yeah, time to get moving and treat this map like nor uh, treat the map like normal. Because we'll get rid of the thief soon. We're going to be dealing with a lot of reinforcements that over the wall, though. Uh, Katria, yeah, you move forward. Julian, you move forward. And Medea should follow the group, but we're just going to... In fact, it's gotten bad enough that the rumor is that they're going to drop a massive update that reworks the game's whole gameplay style and currency. Yeah, I hear people didn't really care for Mortal Kombat 1. Oh, I need to dance. I can't even reach the thief. Did I just not go in the right square? Yeah, what, what, what's wrong there? Well, I can let, I can let you take care of it. Like, is the game itself fine on its own, like, gameplay-wise and all that? It's just, like, everything else surrounding it is just not that good? So the skins are just okay, and they make you pay for them? With fighting games, I would rather have DLC be you pay for new characters, right? And if there are costumes, I think I'd rather have some sort of way to unlock uh, the costumes in-game, whether it's like a new mode or something. Not fully sure how you fully handle it, but I don't know. Because with costumes, like... I don't know, like, that's something you could grind for on your own time, single player, when you're not playing online. Paying money for a costume is just showing people online that you paid money for a worthless costume. People also don't like the cameo system since it requires more learning since some cameos work better than others. What What's this cameo system? Like, 
Again, I've never played a Mortal Kombat. So I don't know what's going on. Still gonna have Tiki do what she was doing before. Do this. Work on getting rid of the mage and the snipers. It's like having a second dude who comes in to do either an attack or a grab, basically to extend your combo. Oh, so it's an assist. It's just an assist. Okay. What's wrong with it? Does, did Mortal Kombat not have assists before? Is that like a new thing they started doing? Oh, okay. Let's see, how's it going? Uh, currently on chapter 20. Uh, just kind of talking about how modern video games are kind of stupid sometimes. How's it going, Betsy? What's going on on your end? Uh, they, I think they did it in Mortal Kombat 9, but that was for 2 versus 2. This is like for every node. That's all you have to activate it. So you're saying single player wise, they basically force this tag team system, and, and it's not an optional mode. Old games for life, more or less, yeah. I still like my new games here and there, but there's a lot of old games I have never played before. Oh my, oh my god. I didn't catch that he would double Marth. Oh, that's on me. I thought Marth would be fast enough. How could you die, Marth? Why did you not check his speed stat? Let's try that again. <laughs> okay. Come on. Yes, I know I need the life sphere. The okay, cameras uh, don't speak. And they lower the interactions between characters from three comments to two. Oh, so less time consuming, you don't have the developer's time to make unique dialogue, I see. Yeah, shiny Galarian Ponyta in 58 days. That's not bad, actually. I'm assuming you were using the Matsuda method, right? And, uh, what game were you specifically playing? Were you playing Sword and Shield, or were you playing, uh, Scarlet Violet for this? Playing Pokemon Sword. Okay, okay. Gen 8. Uh. Did I actually. Yeah, I had to beat Gen 8 because. Uh, when I was doing my ribbon challenge, I had to get myself a copy of Sword just so I can get the few ribbons that are in that game. But I haven't really played since, and I have not bought the DLC, nor do I think I'll plan to. Hell, I still haven't even finished the DLC for Violet. I just have uh, Modern Pokemon has just not been that great lately. We used the other 57 Pokemon to, as, a, as meat to sell. I heard horse meat was on the market. Hmm. And, well, uh, this is a... Isn't Pony Galarian Pony Ponyta a fairy psychic type? I was gonna say, it's already on fire, the meat's already cooked, but no, it's Galarian. Uh, 
Actually, when I was doing shiny egg stuff in Gen 9 because I was bored and I was getting shiny, uh, shiny starters, uh, what I did was all the eggs that I had left over, the ones that weren't shiny, I just threw them on a Wonder Trade. Go sell them to the base. <laughs> oh, yes, that'll, that'll make good money. That'll make some good money. Assuming the bronies are still around. I haven't heard anything about that whole community in a long time. You're gonna cast them to a fate worse than death. But hey, they may pay good money for it. And that's all that matters, right? of the money this is assuming bronies have a lot of money to uh to spare rent the ponies for more income than selling i guess so mm. yeah make it more of a rental uh business that might make you more money in the long run. Don't maintain them if they die, sell the meat. And you can also just keep making more uh, Ponyta eggs and just keep the rental service going. It's a, it's a, it's a very lucrative business. But yeah, it, uh, honestly, getting uh, shiny eggs in Gen 9 has made things so much easier if you were going that route. Because uh, a before in like older games, you had a lot of things to consider. Like, if you want the right nature, you need to make sure the parent Pokemon has the right nature to pass it on. If you want good ni IVs, you want to make sure the parents also have good IVs. Uh, but in modern games, like, and if there's egg moves, you want to make sure they have the egg moves, like, right onto it. But nowadays, you don't need to worry about almost any of that. You want a sex shiny to be female? And name it angry. Very cool. Uh, probably what Ash is doing with the Tauros. He did catch 30 Tauros, but it wasn't on purpose. That was all on accident. He was trying to catch other things, and just a herd of Tauros got in the way. Every time. Every time he tried to catch something, a herd of Tauros just ran in the way. But yeah, everything, like, in Gen 9 made things a lot easier to, to do. If you want to, if you want to actually breed a team, you actually don't need to do much. Because if you want perfect IVs, well, bottle caps are a thing. And it will max out your IVs to 31 for each bottle cap you use. And in Gen 9, you only need to get your Pokemon to level 50, so that doesn't take that long. Uh, EV training is still super easy. That You don't breed for that or anything. Plus, half your brain cells are learning about IVs. Well, luckily in Gen 9, you don't need to worry about it. It's super easy. Uh... Let's go ahead and do this attack the mage. So yeah, just get someone to get your Pokemon to level 50, and then use bottle caps, and you could get max IVs for each set. It's easy. In Gen 9. In Gen 8, you could do that, but I think you need to get to level 100, and that's a lot of grinding. Uh, EV training is still a thing you have to do, but that's easy. That's also easy. Uh, egg moves are even easier. But, like, because in Gen 9, you can keep swapping your moves around whenever you wish. And in Gen 9, with egg moves, you don't even actually have to breed the Pokemon to actually get the egg moves. With a certain item, you could just pass the egg move on along. However, it's not permanent if you delete the move. 
then they don't permanently keep it. You would, if you want to move back on, you would need to do the same. It's the same thing to get the item, uh, get the move back. But when I was breeding my shiny starters in Gen 9, if you breed egg moves onto the, onto your Pokemon, like normal, then they permanently learn those moves, even if you swap moves around. So you never have to basically relearn them back, if that makes sense. Don't know if that does make sense, but, you know. Good, Marth's not fighting the hero. It's not gonna get doubled. What is your speed? Your attack speed is 11. Oh, okay. That must be why. So, when I was breed shinies in Gen 9, I made sure that uh, the starters had all their egg moves, or at least most of them. So when I trade them over in Wonder Trade, whenever they, uh, whoever got that that particular starter, also had their egg moves. Because why not? So honestly, if you're playing Gen Nine and you're trying to get shinies with like the Matsuda method, uh, which is also super easy to do, just Wonder Trade for a Ditto from a different region, you're good to go. And. Uh, And then just, if you want, get their egg moves on. That's the only thing to keep track of. Everything else can be done in some other form. We're waiting for Game Freak to reveal more about Pokemon ZA. Uh, I was actually talking to my friend the other day, and he, he was telling me that recently they announced that they're delaying Pokemon ZA to next year. Like, like November of next year. I need to I need to confirm that, but if that is true, they might actually be listening and actually delaying games, which is what Pokemon needs. I need to confirm that, though. Yeah, please let them cook. That's what we need. That's what we need them to do. Is your we should use a man's stat. Because Legends Arceus, it was a fun game. It needed more time to cook. Uh, it came out in January, right? That game came out in January. If that was released November of that year, that would have been fine. And then Scar and Violet should have been released in November the next year. That game needed even more time to cook. Let's hope they do the graphics well this time. We'll see. It wasn't it's graphics isn't necessarily the problem. It's oh, I forgot to double. It's not graphics, it's like frame rate and uh Yeah, it's mostly frame rate. And dropped frames and stuff like that. and uh, draw distance. It's more of that, because when you look at the actual like Pokemon graphics themselves, they're not bad. Hell, I, I kind of like what they did with the textures in Gen 9. But, and that's not really a graphics problem. It's just more of like draw distance and other things. That makes sense. And the bugs. Mainly the bugs. Although, funnily enough, when I played through Gen 9, I didn't really encounter that many bugs that I kept seeing online. I think I just got lucky. Okay. I don't really want anyone else to move forward. 
I think it might be best for Tiki to head down here, maybe? I don't know. Don't know what to do. Actually, I can bring Ogma forward. Yeah, I can set Ogma right here. That works. I'll be fine. Here. Yeah, Pokemon just has a problem where they're releasing games way too soon. Honestly, the most polished the most polished Pokemon games that are on the Switch are the ones that are not directly made by Game Freak. Or like none of the mainline series ones. Like Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeon DX. New Pokemon Snap, uh, Pokémon Tournament, although that's more of a Switch port. Like, I think those are all the spin-off games. Like, those three games are not- Game Freak's not involved with any of them, if I'm correct. And those are the most polished Switch games. And actually, the Let's Go games actually are really good in terms of, like, uh, the graphics and uh, no slowdown. Honestly, let's go out of the mainline stuff. Let's go is actually the most competent. Funnily enough. If I was Game Freak, I would be a Sherman Dad. Eh, yeah, yeah. Again, it's one of those cases where they really need to delay stuff. But Pokemon's just that big. And it's the problem is it's not just the games that they have to consider. Because it's the anime, it's the card games, it's the merchandise. When the when the main series delays something. It affects everything else, and that's why they haven't really been able to basically just delay things. They haven't been able to do anything, because if one thing's delayed, it affects everything else. This happened back uh, during Gen 4. I don't know if any of you remember this, but near the end of Gen 3, Gen 4, Diamond and Pearl got delayed, but because of that, uh, it delayed the anime because they were scrambling on what to do. So the anime had to do a, uh, th they had to do the Battle Frontier uh, section of the anime. And that was only, that only exists because uh, they had to delay. And they just had to pad for time before Diamond and Pearl. No, the original Diamond and Pearl, Gen 4. Diamond Pearl got delayed by like a year and it affected everything else. That's why we have the Battle Frontier anime. Literally, the Battle Frontier is just like, shit, we gotta we gotta stall for time. What do we do? Uh Battle Frontier in Kanto, sure, let's do that. We gotta stall for time. Before uh Diamond Pearl get released. Because they probably have some sort of plan for Diamond and Pearl. But they can't start it like a year before the games come out. Uh, can I dance Tiki? Yes, I could. What's more important? Thorn's not that bad. I won't get doubled. I'm worried about the sniper. But I don't know who would go first. Right. Uh. Actually, I was like. When was Diamond Pearl? 2007? I was like 7th grade, give or take? But yeah, uh. That's an example of what Game Freak is trying to avoid. Because not only was the anime delayed, I bet everything else got delayed too. The cards, the the plushies, the other merchandise got delayed too. Now granted, I feel like cards and plushies are easy 
but yeah. I could Physic Agna. What's your HP? Hmm. I should get rid of a Meteor. I should get rid of a Meteor. Let's heal Agna. Seven, nothing else. Okay. Let's see. I could dance Tiki and get her down here and get rid of the meteor. Wait. Oh, there's so many meteors and swarms. Fifteen, twenty-one, three. good for that gen. Well, with Diamond and Pearl, now that I'm, like, really thinking about it, Diamond and Pearl itself, first of all, the delay probably did help, but, like, the only problem with Diamond and Pearl, like, actual Diamond and Pearl, is that the, the game runs very slowly. But I think that's its only problem. And if it, if that's its only problem, then the delay really helped them. Try to get, let's try to get the crit. Yeah, uh, that's uh, that's just uh, stream avatars, and I have the ability to to make them battle if, we, if I want to. I usually do that when an ad plays. Uh, I haven't set it up or anything, but I can have a uh, you could set up like a raid boss. And all of you could join in and fight a raid boss. I haven't set that up or anything. I really want to get, like, some raid bosses that would be, like, really, like, I'm thinking, like, the Battle Network final bosses and make those raid bosses. I, I don't know anything about making stuff like that. We're gonna have you go down here. Okay, you can't take him out, but you weakened him. That helps. At least Tiki's not going to get attacked by well, a sniper. Um, I guess that's all we can really do. Actually, Navar should probably back out a bit. I'll let him off the sand here. Alright, let's see how this goes. But yeah... Sun and Pearl, uh, other than the slowdown, or not the slowdown, but the slow run speed of the battles, uh, Diamond Pearl didn't really have that much of an issue, and it probably needed that delay, and I can't think of a moment where stuff like that has happened again, but ever since the Switch, hell, maybe even the 3DS, more games needed needed to be delayed, and they just never were. Oh, no. Come on, Fina. I need you to dodge. Oh, of course. Alright. That didn't go well. 
Uh, anyway, let's just reset. The first few rounds were okay, but Fina got too close. I didn't need to dance, Tiki. I didn't have to do that. Ah, uh, there's just a lot of enemies to consider. I could work Tiki. I could still do that. Yeah, someone must have the right spear. I just thought of something. Uh, I think uh, Paula's still currently carrying the star spear. So I at least give that to someone. Um, I don't know who. Who's being used a lot? Uh, Agma doesn't really need it. Sh uh, sure, just someone should have it. All the main games in the Switch and Pokemon X and Y need a little delay. Some of them a long time delay. Yeah, like every game ever since like the 3DS pro needed more time. Every single one needed more time. Yes, the OVA. The two episode OVA. I have seen it. Gordon is very whiny in that game, or in that anime. I have seen it. And also, it's Mars, not Marth. Get, get it right. <laughs> but yeah, I have seen it. I could warp Tiki and just have her start fighting in here, but that's also not a good idea. If I were to work Tiki, what would be a good spot? Uh, I don't know. Actually, nothing here. Like, warping is not really a good idea. But Mars, I want to fight! That's Gordon. That's Gordon. <laughs> the entire two episodes. I have Tiki swap with Warren. That way she's farther up. I have Fina closer up as well. I'll help get to the thief. Maybe I'll still warp, but may maybe uh, set it up later. It just kind of seems like Agma is going to be my best fighter. Get over here. Uh, nope, nope, one more. There you go. Yeah, first turn is just kind of the same right now. So I think Harden summons new bodyguards when someone's like this close, but because Medea is this close, if you don't save her, then she'll just start getting wrecked. So you kind of need to save her in some form. But yeah, if it is true, that Legend ZA is getting delayed by another year, I think that will be for the best. Because let's be honest here, we didn't need three mainline Pokemon games within a year. We didn't need that. Because remember, we got Diamond and Pearl remakes. Two or three months later, we got Legends Arceus. And then at around the same time as Diamond Pearl remakes, but the next year, that's when we got Starlin and Violet. We didn't need all of that. Like, none of that was needed. Honestly, 
Legends Arceus should have just taken the, sp the, the same spot as Scarlet and Violet, and then make Scarlet and Violet the next year. And that would have been fine. That probably would have been enough time for each of them to cook. But no, we can't delay things. We're not allowed to do that. So don't you know, we gotta get those uh, new plushies and cards out. They needed them yesterday. Do you think the two version system, Pokemon is fine? Not anymore. I think they should, they never will. Because let's be honest here, they're keeping it. That's not gonna change because it makes them money. Because they're fools that buy both versions. And I say that as someone who used to buy both versions. I stopped because, uh, money. But, yeah, they're not going to stop that system because people still buy them. You could bring back Pokemon Coliseum as a remake or a new one. I would love for there to, for there to be a new Coliseum or a new stadium. But it's kind of hard to justify doing something like that nowadays because the, the whole thing about stadium and Coliseum, the whole uh, gimmick, I should say, I guess, is, oh my god, my Pokemon are in 3D now, this is so cool, but Pokemon are already in 3D, so that's that whole thing where it's just a battle simulator, but your Pokemon in 3D, that, that's not needed. And if you're going to battle someone, you're already doing Wi-Fi, so what's the point? If you're going to bring back Stadium or something, you got to have a, a reason for people to buy it. And I don't know how you could fully do that. I say do what Stadium did, where, oh, you beat this mode? Uh, we give you a gift mod with an exclusive move that you can only get here. But, you know, it's a game you can buy. And just, I think if you were going to bring back Stadium, uh, you have to make it to where anyone from that wants to play multiplayer and PvP, you want to you want to make it to where that anyone who wants to play PvP for that generation plays that stadium game. That's where everyone's gonna play it, and it has like a combination of like every mode or something that you could think of. Like I don't know how else you can do it. I like Coliseum, I like XD, and they give you exclusive moves, but let's be honest, the moves that you typically get are not the best, but that it was something. Uh, but yeah, I don't think they're gonna bring it down to one version. Granted, Legends Arceus was a single version, and it sold well enough to where you could have a single Pokemon game for a mainline one. But they're never going to do it because it's still... They still make money off by selling two versions. Uh, now, I do think you can still have uh, the idea of two versions, but sell a single game. And how you would do that is when you boot up a save file... Let's just say Gen 10 was a single game. Let's just say that for a second. Uh, what you could do is when you boot up the game, fresh save file, it randomizes what Pokemon are going to be version exclusives to you. So that would be a way to inc still encourage trading, because that's still a factor with Pokemon. They want you to trade with other versions. They call Cinema Battle Royale. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do. Pokemon Ranger, someone... I have Pokemon Ranger. I have uh, the first and the third Pokemon Ranger. Uh, I don't have the... I don't have the second one. I just never uh, ended up picking that one up. And I... The only reason I got the third one was because this was like the tail end of DS when stores were still selling it. It was fairly cheap, so that's why I ended up getting that one. But... Yeah, uh... Yeah, I, I played a lot of Ranger 1. That's how you got Manaphy for Diamond and Pearl. 
That's how you were supposed to get it. And sadly, I thought you could keep, just keep getting mana fees every time you just reset the game, but no, you couldn't do that. It's only one mana fee per cartridge. And it, it, if you were this poor sap that wanted this shiny hut mana fee, guess what? You had to keep buying new cartridges of Pokemon Ranger if you wanted to go for that, and no one's going to do that. I think there is a way to kind of still kind of reset your full cartridge now. As someone who has hacked their 3DS, and I think I could theoretically basically factory reset my cartridge of Ranger, and that would be the best way to do it. And if I could do that, you know, I could do a save state <laughs> right before getting the Manaphy Egg. But I don't- how legitimate would that be? I don't know. Questions for later. But yeah, uh, that era of- that era of spin-offs was a lot of fun. Mystery Dungeon and Ranger were really good spin-off series. At least the first two Mystery Dungeons. Because, uh, the third Mystery Dungeon, that was Gates to Infinity. Honestly, the game itself is not bad. It's that Gates to Infinity just only had like 250 Pokemon. And then Super Mystery Dungeon, honestly, they changed a, some of the aspects of it a little too much and I didn't really care for it as much. Okay, if I were to dance. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I see. I was getting stuck in part of the game and never learned how to get out of it. So I leave the game there and move to Explorers of Time. Explorers of Time? Okay. Actually, at the time, I had Darkness. Uh, when it was just Time and Darkness, I, I ended up getting Darkness. After a certain point, I think I lost my cartridge. But then I just ended up uh, getting Explorers of Sky for myself. And that's the definitive version, so if you're going to play that game, you're going to play Explorers of Sky. You bought Mystery Dungeon by accident? Which one? Was it Was it blue and red? Or was this uh, Explorers series? I put a lot of time in Mystery Dungeon Blue. Actually, Mystery Dungeon Blue was my first uh, DS game. Right at the same time as I got my DS for Christmas. Spores of got Spores of Sky. That's again, that's a good game. Really good game. Alright. Okay, so back to where we were. I don't know, I still want to consider luring this guy out. Oh, I should have oh, set him here for a second. There you go. Spores of Sky is basically just the definitive version of time. Uh, I forget what they added. I know there's like side stories that you can do that kind of shows more of what the other characters do. It's like extra personality for them. Uh, there might be some extra dungeons. I forget all the details, but I do know it's the definitive version. Oh, yeah. I think the third and fourth mystery dungeon are just kind of okay at best. For different reasons. You know what? I'll just let Ogma lure him out. But yeah, I enjoyed Pokemon Ranger for what it is, but let's be honest, you can't really bring that game back. Uh, that game was made for the DS in mind, and it's kind of hard to bring a game like that back in the current systems. Without just completely changing the entire formula, you know? 
Conceptually, you could bring it back, but the gameplay itself would have to change. I don't know. I don't fully now know how you could bring Ranger back, though, without uh, you know, and how you would uh, change the gameplay. Oh no, a bot telling me to buy bot viewers. We're not doing that. Uh, Hawkhorn Dog. So Pokemon Ranger, if you never played it, uh, it's a touch. It, let's just. It's a touch screen game where when you're trying to capture a Pokemon, I say capture in quotes, you have to take your stylus and uh, form circles around the Pokemon. To, and once you circle the Pokemon enough times, you capture them. So, I mean, the Switch does have a touch screen, so you could bring Ranger back and use the Switch's touch screen, but kind of like the world ends with you, it's not as great. <laughs> Alright. Oh, maybe I did mention Mystery Dungeon. Yeah, Mystery Dungeon, 3 and 4 are not that great. 3 just has a lack of Pokemon. It only has 251 or 250 Pokemon, so that's a little bit disappointing, but I, I just didn't really like some of the changes they did in 4. That's kind of why. Same would be Kid Icarus Uprising. Um, honestly, Kid Icarus Up Uprising wouldn't be that bad. I think you could tie the cursor to the right stick. And I think you can make that work that way. But I would love Kid Icarus to come back. That game needs to come back. Like, who do I want to get I would love Kid Icarus Uprising to come back. That's a great game. But yeah, if they brought Ranger back, I think it would be best to just change the gameplay. Just to try to make it work in 3D. You remember Kratos? Oh no. God of War. Going into Kill Hades. I mean, it's not much different, you know? I think Hideo Chris Uprising already is. It's an HP. Uh, but again, kind of like the world ends with you, you kind of, when they made, uh, not the remake, when they made the sequel to World Ends With You, they basically changed the entire battle system. And... I'm not saying it's for the better, but I'm saying I understand why it's changed. But they still kind of kept the same feelings. Kid Icarus crossover with God of War. Would they kidify Kratos or would they mature Kid uh, Pit? That that would be a weird thought. Do they M? Do they rated M, rated M Pit or do they rated E? Kratos. How, how would you do that? Or would they just make it rated T? Okay, we got rid of one meteors. Now, ah, let's leave the others alone. We're gonna need Julian soon. You'll send me the meme later because I, I don't understand what's happening there. Wow, Tiki's just getting all the crits. Level 19, speed, resistance, and HP. Well, it's a good thing you got resistance. But yeah, with the world ends with you, when they made the ports for, um, what was it, like I iPads and the hell, even the Switch version, it lost some of its charm because of how they had to change it. And honestly, if you ever get a chance to play The World Ends With You, it's a good game. But try to play it on the actual DS, or 3DS for that matter. It's a good game, but uh, it was made with the DS in mind. 
And it did it very well, actually. Yeah. Have you seen mature Kratos in collab besides Fortnite? But when I say mature, I mean like... I mean more of like how he acts. You know, if you were to do a crossover with Kratos and Kid Icarus, Kid Icarus is like rated E, right? And Kratos is God of War is rated M. So if you were to do a crossover, would you have to make Kratos basically a rated E version of Kratos? Or would you take Pit and make it a rated M version of Pit? <laughs> or would you just meet in the middle and make a rated T game? Where Pit has a little bit more edge to him, and Kratos has a little bit less edge to him. Okay, well, I can't really... Okay, how do I handle this? Mature Kratos doesn't do as brutal killing as Greek, so we work. Right. Right. Okay, Tiki. We can have you go around here. Fight. The one with Thoron, and I think you can get the KO right away. You're still gonna have to deal with the sniper, and that's gonna be annoying. Kratos would be like Magnus? Oh, that's actually a good point. He would be a little bit like Magnus. Ah, I wanna play Uprising again. Get... Well, you have a so I just need to bring Agma forward. Oh, I didn't realize he's not full. Let's heal him up. There's just so many guys with, like, you know, Swarm and Meteor. It's kind of hard to get around. Although there's only one guy with Meteor up here. That ain't that bad. I can maybe make that work. Uh, let's start... First, Ogma, you get over here. Yeah, that'll work. Ogma over here, he's gonna equip the Armor Slayer, and I'm gonna try to send both my archers this way. Let's hope it works out. Tiki will be fine against him. She'll take a lot of damage, though. Who's the one that's healing? Oh, it's you. Are you the only one that's healing? No, you can heal, too. Okay. But yeah, the reason why the Ports of World Ends With You, like the original one, don't really work as well is that that game was made for the DS and you utilize both screens. You have two party members. You control one with the touch screen on the, you know, on the bottom screen. And you control the, control the other one with the D-pad while they're on the top screen. And you're fighting the same enemies at the same time. It's really interesting for a gameplay style. But when they did the iPhone and... You know, the Switch versions, well, there's only one screen, so they basically just took took out the second character, more or less. I mean, in terms of gameplay, they basically took out the second character, so it's not really the same. And if you ever buy the Switch version of that game, uh, based on what some friends have told me and based on what I've seen, get yourself a screen protector, get yourself an iPhone stylus, and play it portably. <laughs> so also, Kratos doesn't swear, and he'll probably help me for this if that helps him. Right. Ryu would have been a good option for DS to DS games with the gamepad. Honestly, first of all, I am a little upset that The World's End Ends With You didn't get a sequel on the 3DS. It would have worked fine, they just didn't do it. Uh, 
But yeah, it could have gotten a Wii U game. That would have worked as well. It would have been hard. It would have been a little difficult, but it could have worked. How much damage did you take? Uh, you took... 24 damage. Do I need to use... 10, 12... Oh no, I think you could just use a... Use a heal stab. Got an option for DS and 3DS games with the gamepad. The Wii U did have uh, DS games you could buy digitally, but they didn't do that. They didn't do that many. And uh, we have potential. It's like the PS2, but it did that. Uh, a lot of things have potential, but like honestly, the Wii U's biggest problem was marketing. That's what really hurt it. Oh wow, the bot one, how original. The green ball. They lost the potential of the Wii U, they could have bring back good ports at $60, yeah. And it's not the games, I mean, we keep getting Switch ports of Wii U games and, you know, freaking the bid thriving. Like, look at, like, some of the, some of the games like Donkey Kong Country uh, Tropical Freeze, that's already a good game. But, like, it got a resurgence because it's on the Switch. Like, the Switch saved a lot of these games. We're still missing a, uh... Oh, I didn't... I did not catch this. I did not catch that Tiki would be this close to this hero. Oh, that's not a good sign. I could rescue, but I don't really want to. Let's just see how it goes. But yeah, the world uh, a sequel to World Ends With You would have also worked on the game on the Wii U. It's just it wasn't going to happen. Because of how poor the sales were on the Wii U, that they had like no third party support. do that much damage. Oh, come on. I didn't realize Meteors did that much damage. Okay. This is actually a tough map. Alright. We could probably get another attempt in. Love hate relationship for a triple threes. Could add a new content on a character that carries the whole. I agree. They could have done more with the Switch port. I still want to get myself a copy of the Switch port, but I didn't. I never picked it up because it's the price I was never really a fan of. Uh, can't spell Lind without a capital L. Exactly. Um. Yeah, the Switch version could have added more to Tropical Freeze, but when you look at Tropical Freeze on its own, the game is, like, near perfection. That is such a fun game. 
like one of the best platform like 2d platformers ever they have new content on returns and with epic mickey uh if i remember correctly i thought i heard that uh donkey kong country returns hd is just gonna add the new content that was added to the 3ds version i don't think they're gonna add new stuff on top of that although i do think it should They would have called it Definitive Edition, probably, if that was the case. If they were going to add new stuff. Epic Mickey. I don't know if they're going to add anything to that. Man, I haven't played that game since it came out. It's one of those ones where I don't know if it holds up. But I need to, like, play it again just to see if it does hold up. Mickey and Fortnite and when? I mean... I... Uh, I don't know if Disney really wants Mickey to hold a gun, so I don't think that will ever happen. Even, even if Disney is, like, trying to partner with, uh, what is it, Epic Games a lot more. Matilda or Medea, not Matilda. Yeah, I'm not sure about how well Epic Mickey's gonna go. I'd be curious if it does well. And that's just a game I need to replay. Try it again, see if it holds up. Well, they're about to add Incredibles in Fortnite? Really? Are they actually going to add Incredibles into Fortnite? By the pre-sale, they gift you a costume and early access. Uh. Oh, it depends on where the thief moves. Okay. That's... Uh, I, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, out of all the Disney Pixar stuff, I guess Incredibles would... The only one I would see would actually use a gun would be Syndrome. I don't see any of the other characters actually pulling out an Uzi and just going to town with it. I've explained my, my thoughts about... Uh, Fortnite in general and why I'm not really the biggest idea or the, no, I'm not the biggest idea I'm not the biggest fan of it with a lot of the co crossovers just a lot of it just doesn't really fit and, and it doesn't ruin characters but it you know it just feels like really wrong I guess is the best way I can put it oh that's a girl gonna be bought big time oh you know for a fact she will you already know that Mr. Incredible, Elastigirl, and Frozone. Really? Just those three? Not even Syndrome? Huh. You think they would do- they would have Syndrome? But hey, as- you know, uh, Frozone is just another Samuel L. Jackson character getting to shoot guns, so I guess that's not out of the question. You know, if- if they had guns specific- like, guns specifically made for these characters, kind of like how Mario and Rabbids have, like, their specific, like, blasters that they gave Mario. If they did a lot of that for these crossover characters, I wouldn't care as much. It's just when you see some of these characters just pull out a gun. It's like, this doesn't feel right. It feels like some sort of, like, YouTube video that some someone made, you know what I mean? Just to be edgy. The costumes would be new content. That's barely enough content for me to warrant, uh... Uh, just, like, a, a straight-up purchase for Epic Mickey. And you know what? It, it'll probably be a costume you could probably get in-game. They just let you unlock it right away. Maybe they'll add in later. Probably gonna test the water with this group. Is this the first time Disney's really utilizing one of their, uh... 
one of their Disney or Pixar characters into Fortnite? Because I know they do Star Wars and Marvel, but that's a little different. Usually when they collab, they add something from their series to the weapon cycle. Avatar of the Last Airbender at the four... Yeah, the four benders. Yeah, I remember they were in it, but... So they do add weapons that would... That they would use. But that's the thing, they don't have to use those weapons. They can go with other things. They're not... They're not locked to the, using those weapons. Again, it's weird when I see Naruto just start using the hand signs and then just pull out an Uzi. It doesn't feel right. <laughs> Again, it looks like just some sort of something you see just on a random YouTube video. Have the razor rifles and Nuka Cola. Right. Uh, oh, I uh, should survive. Dang it! I accidentally used hit weight. Agma, I need you to start getting close. You need to get rid of. Some, some units. Let's hope Tiki survives. And Katria is here. Goku doing his chi stuff. Getting going Super Saiyan. Before, before cranking 90s and doing so with a sniper rifle. Exactly. No. Planet Namek is in the middle of exploding, and then, like, Fre Freeze is begging for mercy, and then Goku just pulls out a Uzi. It's over! Freeze! Ah! <laughs> he just starts shooting. There, even though, like, we already know gun guns exist in Dragon Ball. It's just Goku never uses it. But he has been shot multiple times with normal guns. It just never works on him. It just stings. Did Fortnite have a lot of wild cro crossovers? I don't know. Hot Corn Dog, when did they start doing a lot of wild crossovers? It's been a few years. I know, like, the Naruto and Dragon Ball 1 have been a few years old. Would you say within the first year of them coming out? Maybe not the first year, but the first couple years. Trunks is in the game? Okay. How is he gonna mess with the Fortnite timeline this time? Hope they add Toad. Which Toad? Like Mario's Toad? Or like X-Men Toad? Or Toad, oh, it's not Toad Man from Mega Man. But, you know, they could do that. Just go ahead and use Rain Flush on it. Rain Flush on everyone. About year two or year three, they started doing these crossovers. Okay. Yeah, we just keep, get Key and Michael Key's toe just to pull out a gun in Fortnite. to attack. Uh, I think the iron will be enough. Honestly, I could probably see Toadette pulling out a gun. In Mario & Luigi Paper Jam, she was kind of like the the group's like mechanic, where she just constantly created like a bunch of stuff. So she could create some sort of weird gun. I wouldn't put it past her. And maybe Daisy. Honestly, I could see Daisy having a gun. Let's be honest here. Why do you think Sarasa Land has been protected for, like, every Mario game except for Mario Land 1? 
she probably, after she got kidnapped the first time, she probably just got a lot of guns. And then just goes, goes around Fortnite and be like, Hi, I'm Daisy! There you go. Mario, the princess is, is at Tilted Towers. Help me take on Ariana Grande and Gojo so we can get the star power up. Oh, I could do my toad impression, but none of you want to hear that. That's going to hurt your ears. Also, my throat's going to be sore. But I could totally do that just to mess with all of you. Daisy's best princess. She is better than Peach. Just, let's be honest. She's only been kidnapped once for, for Star Wars. So, she's immediately more, like, self-efficient than Peach. But, she has a personality. Like, in every game she's in, she actually has a personality. Versus Peach is just, like... Peach is just girl, basically. That's her personality. Pe you know, Daisy has some sass to her. Although, if you look at Mario Strikers, uh, I think it's charged on the Wii. They, they have personality. They even gave Peach a personality. They made Peach like a, uh, like, she, like, Peach would be, like, in, in the Strikers game, Peach would be like a, uh, Instagram model. And she gets very upset when people don't praise her, you know, and fawn over her. Like, that's Peach in that game. That game, now that I think about it, Strikers, Strikers Charge is such a weird game. Like, with what they did with some of these characters. Like, first of all, did you know Waluigi has a whip? He uses a whip in that game. He just pulls it out just to whip the ball. It's kind of weird. Waluigi also does the... Uh, oh, I forget what it's called, but when he taunts someone... He'll do, like, the, like, over his crotch. I, I, it, <laughs> uh, Daisy licks her, like, thumb, sticks it on her butt, and it sizzles. So, yeah, that game is weird. <laughs> I think what we'll do is we'll... Tiki, go ahead and weaken this guy. Uh... Yeah, a little. Yeah, I have my problems with that movie. And... Honestly, my biggest change I would make to that movie is make is nerf Peach because she's too good. Peach is just too useful. Honestly, with that movie, uh, you could have taken out Mario out of the movie, and Peach would have still had the problem solved. Without Mario, he didn't need to be there. Nothing would have changed. Like every everyone, my friends that I talk to about it, they bring up, "Oh, she wouldn't fight Don. She wouldn't want to fight Donkey Kong." But I'm like, "Okay, but if she actually did fight Donkey Kong. She would win easily, like easily." Like, her thing was she just didn't want to fight him because she was scared, for whatever reason, you know, to just give Mario something to do. But let's be honest here, 
If Peach actually went up against Donkey Kong, if she knows more about how the world works, she can easily take down DK. So, like... It's like, Mario didn't need to be in that movie and the problems would still be solved by the end. That's the that's the big that's my biggest issue with that movie. Take Mario out, nothing changes. I just think like, and also it doesn't really reflect the games that well when you really think about it. Because the th even on the games when Peach is playable and never gets kidnapped, when you compare her to Mario, Luigi, and Toad, she is the slowest. And she gets around by, like, floating around. So, you could have reflected that, but no, she's like, let's just take all the best stats of all the characters in Mario and just give them all to Peach. That's the that's the movie Peach for you. Like Luigi's jump height, toad speed, and um, yeah, Luigi's jump height, toad speed, and Peach still keeps her hover. God, I think I have enough for one more attempt. Daisy would solo get DK. Yeah, probably. I think I have enough time for one more attempt. The biggest problem with this map is just having to deal with all of the long range all the long range magic. Yeah, this is kind of a hard chapter. You gotta be careful on who you send forward. Because if they get hit by too much long-range magic, they just won't survive. That's why I'm kind of using Tiki a lot. She just has the resistance and HP to tank. And Agma, even if he doesn't have the resistance, he has a lot of HP and defense to take out the other stuff. think of maybe finishing this chapter today, but it looks like it might not happen. Well, we'll try what we can, though. I can't imagine Daisy with a gun at her to Fortnite. Uh, again, Daisy would probably... I could easily see Daisy having a gun. How do you think she protects S Sarasa Land? Why do you think no one has actually attacked Sarasa Land after Mario Land 1? It's because Daisy has a bunch of... No, you know what? Daisy just has all the nukes. She just has all the nukes. That's what it is. No one wants to threaten Daisy anymore ever since. She got kidnapped once, and she decided to get nukes. That's what it is. someone. Like, I could do that. But, right now, it almost feels like a waste. Because once I get rid of this group up here, and I can attack him from range, and once I get rid of, like, these guys, we're kind of set. She made a deal with the U.S. to send uranium. No, she made a deal with New Donk City to get the to get the nukes. Because again, New Donk City hasn't really been you know attacked. They only got attacked like that one time, and not and only kind of.
Yeah, just made a deal with Pauline to get some nukes for, for some uranium. That's why Sarasa land hasn't been attacked. like they this like group of enemies over here it will be a lot easier like it's gonna be a lot easier once we get rid of like these this set i just gotta really make sure everyone is held back you know maybe use physic a bit more maybe uh, only send in, like, Tiki and Agma and have them take out everything. <coughs> it kind of seems like just what I need to do. after Ogma instead, okay. And we got a crit. That works. It was the 50-50 chance. Got a little bit of luck. Alright. Tiki, go ahead and go after your mages. Honestly, the mages aren't the problem. It's the Sniper. There's that. So... I think that's the reason Ogma's having a lot of trouble. Although it says with mercenaries, not heroes, right? Well, he did take a lot of damage, so it must actually affect him. But I do need Tiki to help out with it. And... Warren has, like, no resistance. Is that one? Well, Ryan has, like, no HP. I don't know who would be better. I don't know who would actually help out more. Probably just have to leave it to Tiki and Ogma. Let me make sure everyone's safe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Marth is currently safe. Katria. Mina can just hang out here. It's fine. Medea, you go here. Tiki, it would be nice if you could get a crit right now. Okay, fine. It would just make it go faster. Yeah, honestly, I think I just need to leave this to Tiki and Ogma. Just let them handle everything. Seems like Ogma's gonna need healing too. Okay. Yeah, all the healers are protected. Ugh. Twenty-five 
26 minus 14, 12? Yeah, I didn't need to do that. She probably didn't need it. She probably did. I could probably hold off. Okay. Let's go ahead and dance. Well, hot corn dog, you seem to be doing well right now. At least, at least the bot is out of here. No, Juice got some healing in. Oh, but I think you've cornered him. I think you are going to win this one, Hot Corn Dog. Oh, wait, no, you didn't kill him. You didn't get Juice. Now he's going for the heal. Oh, no, but he turned around. He wanted to fight you again. You win. There you go, Hot Corn Dog. Thing. Yeah, we're just gonna keep the master sword equipped. We'll leave it there. We shall leave it there. Sorts of okay, so it does affect he heroes. It's not just mercenaries, it affects heroes, okay. You think the Sword Slayer would just ha affect anyone who is currently using a sword? But it seems like it's affecting specific jump classes. Speed and HP. I mean, the speed I don't think is actually going to help Tiki. Please, no. Honestly, putting Melissa there probably saved her, saved all his life. Maybe. Oh, nope, never mind. We got another meteor. Come on, Agma. Uh, of course. Am I trying to lure that guy too soon? I might be. Meteor is a little too strong. Or, or I, I'm sorry, Hot Dog. Meat Eater is too strong, I see. Now, Meteor's a little too strong. I think it might be best to wait on bringing Ogma forward until... Honestly, let Tiki get attacked. She deal more damage, and she's not getting she's not getting hit for by for thirty nine damage. So yeah, maybe it might be best to let Tiki lure this guy over 
and maybe bring her down here. That might be better. But honestly, I think that's about all I could really do. Yeah, I, I think we're going to call it. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the About page. And I'll show the one achievement that we did get. Would you look at this? We beat Chapter 19. Oh, actually, wait a minute. We did get... Recruit Rosea. Rosea. We did get that. Okay. So that's something. Anyway. Have a good day. Later. Tomorrow. It's this chapter again.